Hi guys, there are certain templates that can make even a beginner fairy developer look like a star. Yes, that's the thinking behind fairy elements, a template that helps you to build the enterprise ready production apps in minutes and really you heard in minutes and not days or weeks. So in this short and crisp video, I'll briefly give you an idea about how fairy elements help us to design the front-end applications at speed and some of the use cases that fit as per the currently available templates which are provided by SAP. Fairy templates help to basically bridge the gap between a beginner and an expert developer and it really brings about significant benefits by driving consistency that provides user adoption and minimizes the support and the training costs. Okay, so Currently, as of now, the Fairy templates that are currently available are the list report, wherein you can build a tabular list of multiple columns along with the filtering, sorting, and grouping of data, like a dashboard kind of style of features, right? Apart from this report, we have object page, wherein you can dwell on the, have an overview, suppose like you have a purchase order and you want to look at the details of the purchase orders. So an overview and like an object page will help you to look at such details. Then we have the analytical list page and the overview page. So if your use case fits in any of these common patterns, then you should obviously go for fairy elements. Okay. So now we'll basically focus on how to create a list report kind of a template using fairy elements and CDS. So there will be basically the three essential steps to create a fairy element list report. And before we proceed, this is how the flow plan would look like. So this is the flow plan of a list report, wherein at the top you have the selection help options with the help of which you can filter the data. Then you have the tabular list data, wherein you can have a complete drill down of the entire reporting purpose. Okay. So if you have large set of data which you want to filter and do for reporting use for reporting purpose, then you should obviously go for the list report on the basis of the fairy elements and CDS. So as I was telling, the main three essential steps for creating a fairy element list report are first, you have to prepare the OData service, prepare the UI annotations, and finally create a fairy app using the fairy elements list report template. So now going forward to the first step, that is where I have to prepare the OData service. So here we will be exposing our CDS as an OData service. Yes, you heard me right. We are not going to go by the conventional method of creating a OData project by an SEGW. Here we will be exposing a CDS view as an OData service. And for achieving the same, we will be using an annotation at the rate odata.publish true. Okay. So once we have prepared the odata, then we have to add the service to our gateway system as in to our backend system. And then we have to register and maintain the service. So for doing the same, we'll go to our backend system. So for our demo purpose, the system that we are using is a S4 HANA embedded gateway system. So here we don't have to go to a separate gateway system. Here my gateway system is already embedded with my S4 HANA system. So I'll click on the T code slash and slash IWFND slash maintain services. Click on enter. Then the first step is that I have to add the service. So the system alias will be local as for the alias that is maintained with respect to this embedded gateway system and in the technical service name you need to give your CDS view name underscore CDS that will be my data service name yes so CDS view name underscore CDS then click on enter since I have already added the service I won't be able to add again so what you need to do is once it's ready for addition you have to click on this add selected service and it's done 
Once you have added the service, go one step back, click on filter, click on this, provide this for data service name as in the CDS view name underscore CDS. Okay. Now, after you have loaded the service, you should carefully check that your service should be in activated state. Then, I need to test my service in my SAP Gateway Client. So, click on the SAP Gateway Client. Wait for a few seconds. Then, go here. Click on Entity Sets. Once I click on Entity Set, select my Entity Set. Click on Execute. Then, see here, the status code is 200 and my data is loaded. So, we are ready with your Odata service. So, first step is ready. What was my second step? My second step was that I had to prepare the UI annotation. So, as a part of the UI annotations, there are a lot of annotations that we can use to build this list report. Some of them, as you can see here, if you see this template, there's in the floor plan, like for this F4 search and options, I have used an annotation called at the rate UI dot selection field. Similarly, for displaying this count of records, I have used an annotation called at the rate UI dot header information. That's it. This annotation and it will give me the count of records. Similarly, for this tabular data, when I want to display the elements as in the fields of my data source with respect to line items, I have to use an annotation called at the rate UI dot line item. Then the description or the end user text that you are seeing here as in the company code or document type or username, this is handled through at the rate end user text dot label. Okay. So these are some of the annotations that I told you as of now. Similarly, there are many more annotations as in the UI annotations which can be used to completely build this list report. Now, after that first and the second step is done, then you need to go to your Cloud Web ID and we need to execute the third step. So, as a part of the third step, what you need to do, log into your Cloud Web ID. Okay, I have logged into my Cloud Web ID. Click on Home, click on New Project from Template. Once I click on New Project from Template, I have to select the environment as New, Category as the SAP query Elements, Version as SAP Wi-Fi 1.52, and click on the list report application then click on next provide a name like list underscore report and app okay and similarly give a title so you need to focus on mainly these two mandatory fields as in you need to provide a project name and you need to provide a title then click on next then your the data connection step is very crucial so here you need to first choose a system from which you want to fetch the data source. So, so I have to select my backend system here. So once I have selected my backend system, then I have to provide the OData service name. So as I told very much clearly at the starting that my OData service name is your CDS view name underscore CDS is your OData service name. Now click enter here, your service name will enter. Once your service name will be displayed here, select the service and then click on next. Once you click on next, it will show you all the annotation files that are available as a part of that service. You need to select all the annotation files. Then click on next and here you need to select the Odata service name and then select this checkbox as in the enable page variant and click. Once I click on finish, my entire application will be generated along with different folders and files. Okay. Now to initially test this application, as in what has been created by the framework, we need to expand this web app folder, select component.js and click on run. Okay. Now once we execute this, the application will get loaded. Once I have loaded the application, my list report ap application will look like this. So now if you compare with the floor plan, see here at the top, you are able to see the selection of options and then the record count and the tabular data. Similarly, at the top, I'm able to see the selection help options, then the record count and the data. What I have done, some customizations as in, I have also applied some tabs as in which will help me to filter the data as in a much more easier and a convenient way. So, if I click on the city Hyderabad, you will be able to see the data of only the city Hyderabad. If I click on city other than Hyderabad, then you will be able to see the data 
of cities other than Hyderabad. If I click on the third tab that is customer name as in Paul, you'll be able to see the data only of the customer Saint Paul. And see here, if I select this tab, as in I click on this tab, my records count changes. If I click on this tab, my record count changes. Yeah. So also there is an option to export this entire data. If I click on this option export to spreadsheet. So now let's see what happens. Yes. And the data is exported. Done. See how fast it is. Also, if I want to navigate from this list page by clicking on this line item, now let's see what happens. So when I navigate from that list page by clicking on that line item, we navigate to an object page. Here I have two sections as in the general details and the scheme details. So under general details, again I have created two subsections, the main information and the material details. And at the top I have the district code and the state code. So here if I click on scheme details, it will show me all the scheme details relevant to that line item. If I click on general details, it will show me all the details relevant to the general details as in the main information and the material details. And at the top, I am showing the district and the state. So how did I do this? For showing the district code and the state code, I have used the annotation at the rate UI dot data point dot title. You see this annotation. For this annotation and this annotation helps me to provide the data here at the district and the state. And for showing these tabs as in the general details and the scheme details, I have used at the rate ui.facet annotation. So these are some of the annotations as in from an overall perspective which are used to create this list report which I am showing here. There are many such other annotations which we can explore to further enhance the feasibility and to add on more features to this list report so that it can be made much more interesting and a very good look and feel can be provided with a list report. So this was as in how to build a list report by using these three basic steps. First, to prepare the OData service as in the CDS view, expose it as an OData service. Second, once I have exposed it as an OData service, I have to register and maintain the service in my gateway system. And here, as in, in this case, since I have an embedded gateway, I maintain the same in my embedded gateway system. Once I have registered and maintained the service, also I need to make sure that I have added the required and the prerequisite QA annotations, which will be required to make my list report have a better look and a proper UI feel and look interactive. Okay. And since both the steps are done, then in the third step, I'll go to my Cloud Web IDE and then I'll go to this home and I'll click on new project from template and I'll perform all the prerequisite steps and then create this application. One more point which you need to really focus on as if you see, if you click on this web apps and the annotations folder, there's an annotations.xml file. So if you see here, and under this your entity types, you have local annotations and your external annotations. So external annotations displays all the annotations that you have done at your CDS view level. And local annotations displays all the annotations that you have done by a configuration from your web ID. So for building this list report, we can make use of both local annotations as well as CDS annotations as comfortable as you feel. So this was an overall idea as to how to develop a basic list report application using this free, short and crisp steps. I hope you will like this video and now you will be able to have a hands on as to how to develop a list report as per the steps guided through this video. Thank you.